naongea kuhusu obedience obey obedience anybody who is obedient has a long life and what does it mean to be obedient obedience is a process of listening accepting the meaning of meaning of obedience is to listen to accept and to abide yourself and to what you have been told that is the meaning of obedience Praise the name of the Lord. To listen, to accept. Before you obey, you must accept what you have been told. The moment you don't accept, it is very difficult to accept, to do obey. Koti. Nikusikiliza. Kukubali. No matter how hard it is no matter how strict it is no matter how difficult it is and any anyone who want to be a minister must obey authority that's chapter 9 we have spoken about this thing many times but today I am bringing it in a different way According to the way God has given it to me. According to the way God has given the knowledge about, about it. Most of the people who are failures in life. They are the people who always do not obey. The instruction given no matter at what level of, of authority. If you don't obey the authority of your parents. You come out to be a naughty child. If you don't obey the authority of your teacher, you come out from school as a failure. Ah. Praise the name of the Lord. If you don't obey the authority of the of the, of the, the land, you come out as a criminal. If you don't obey the authority of of your pastor of your spiritual leader you come out as a devil worshiper ay, ay, ay. I say you come out as an antichrist who are the antichrist the antichrist are the people who do not obey the authority of their spiritual leaders that is where the word antichrist comes from anybody who speaks against the authority of the spiritual leader is an antichrist he is fighting the lord of that house praise the name of the lord and what happens to this person in a slow motion will gradually grow as if it's going far but one time one time one one day one time this person will begin to will begin to reap from the spirit of antichrist and we have so many antichrist people uh, uh, people in the house of god they worship god but they don't obey the authority from the man given the mantle from the person who has been awarded that opposition at that position and today I'm talking to any minister we don't obey authority because we are fools no we obey because it is God who has said that praise the name of the Lord Moses was not the best person to be appointed by God to be chosen by God to go to Israel no we have never seen the process of education with Moses we have never seen anything good with him we know Moses as a killer 
We know Moses as a violent man. We see him fighting. We see him killing. We know Moses as a pastor, as a shepherd, someone who is going to take care of the sheep. We know Moses as a person who is friendly to bush. But God came to choose that person among the best other people who are more best, better than him. But they had to obey the authority because it is how God works. Banasi feel. Pigesu makofi men. God is happy to see people who can be able to listen to their leader and accept what he's saying. He is happy the people who can be able to listen and accept the authority. The way God has planned his work, that is how he wants it to be respected. From the top to the lowest. Imagine, I want you to listen to this. Imagine a nation without a leader like Kenya now. Just think about this. A nation like Kenya now, we have no present. Just look at the way. How will be the operation? Matatus will make ways in the streets. People who have power will rob others. Wale watu wakona nguvu wataimbia wengine. Unafanya mshara wako au fiki nyumbani umechukulewa. Why? There is nobody above who can be respected. But as if you think about it that way. A nation without a president, without a leader, like in Kenya today, what will happen? Wale maskini ya watakuwa na shamba, matajiri, watachua zote. Barabara sisiapitia kila mahali. Nairobi haita ingika. Watu watausa mpaka kwa mlango ya mtu kwa mlango. Mana kwa nini? Hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza kupeana order hiyo sifanywe. Bana sifiwe. Look at how authority works. And I want you to look at this in that dimension. Mana watu wenge wajui tukesema authority mana yake ni nini? Just imagine a house like this without like a leader. Watu watakuja ibada saa nane. Hakuna mtu wakukemea. Kila mtu atashika mahali anataka. Maana hakuna mtu anaongopwa. Just imagine the whole world without God. Kila mtu sahii anaitana Mungu, kila mtu sahii. The first time kuona state house kukienda watumishi wa Mungu akaombe. Why? Let us seek from the above. Kuna mmoja aliye juu zaidi ambaye ataongea sasa tujue nini nafanyika. Authority. Bwana asifiwe. Look just a matatu without a driver. Anybody can go and drive. What will happen? Accident. Hakuna mtu apendi kuendesha gari. Hata ule mtoto mdogo akiingia kwa gari naona akiingia kwa steering. Ukimwambia wakisha nataka kuendesha. Basi hakuna order ya nani atasema. How many people will die? How many people will perish? How many damage will be uh, How much damage will it be done? And so authorities must be obeyed for the security of the lives of people. Bana asifiwe. Pigie bana Yesu makofi mengi. When you hear someone saying, Mimi siwezi kuambiwa wachana na yeye is an antichrist. Kama hajawahi kuona mkubwa yake ambaye anaweza command ako na shida na hawezi kwenda mbali maana hakuna yeyote aliyefaulu aliyeshinda asipokuwa na komanda mbele yake jeshi aliwezi kwenda kupigana vita bila kutuma komanda if you go to kidiev wale wako kule somalia utakuta mkubwa hako pale ambaye anasema today this is the way we are going to follow in the house of the lord the same way kuna komanda ambaye anasema do today, Monday ni kuomba, Tuesday ni kuomba, oda na inafuatwa, ili mungu afraishwe na watu wawa, afanya kazi yake kwa uraisi, kubana azifiwe. Yesu makofi mingi. A workplace without a boss. Kambu ni isiyo na mwenyewe, isiyo na boss. 
Utakuta all the toilets are everywhere. Kila mtu anaweza kusimama mahali anataka. And especially hao wanaume wana aibu. They can stand on the road katikati tu afanye vile anataka utampeleka wapi? Atakuliza utanipeleka wapi? But you can see. Waki wanaangalia wakiingia wanaona ladies gents. Why? Kuna order. There's authority speaking about that. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Pigie Yesu makofi mengi. You can never succeed in life without someone above you. I want you to write that one down. As a minister, you must appreciate to have a person above you. No matter how you see him, God has entrusted that person to speak on your behalf and also on the behalf of God. And that is why authorities are there. Dio sababu kuna wakubwa, mkubwa ni nani kwa hii nyumba? Kubwa ni nani? Bwana asifiwe. Mtu mmoja aliingia kaweka gari ikachanganywa mafuta ni ya diesel ikawekwa petro. Wale vijana wa wapapamba tena ndio wakaanza kuongea pale. Huyo jamaa akashuka kwa gari mlango kwaasha akashuka. Akasema nionyeshe boss. Who is the boss here? Akapelekwa. Praise the name of the Lord. Akaenda kwa boss. Na boss akaja akasema drain na mumwekee full tank. Hakuna mwingine angefanya hivyo. Ingefanyika yule pamba tenda ndio atoe authority angelipa elfu kumi kuwekea mtu huyo gari yake. Lakini mkubwa amesema iwekwe. Maana yeye ni mkubwa atajua jinsi hiyo gharama itakavyofanywa. That is the power of understanding and respecting the authority. Praise the name of the Lord. Pigia bwana Yesu makofi mengi. Amen. Any army without a commander will perish in the battle. I want you to read that. The importance of leadership. Authority. Any army. Kila jeshi isio na commander ama kiongozi wake ambaye dia na amurisha. Ita inawesa kuishia kwa vita. Amen. And who are these people in the house of God? These are the people given leadership in various departments. In various departments. They work. The authority begins from the head going to the top, bottom. The head of the house, the departmental heads, The assistants, departmental assistants, the ministers, and the worshippers. That's how it goes. It's a chart. Each body of leadership reports to the higher authority. Leaders and the heads of department are meant to bring up the following. I want you to write that. All the leaders and the heads of the department. Kila viongozi. Na wazaidizi wao. Na viongozi wa kila sehemu. Wameinduliwa ni kwa jili ya kufanya mambo haya. Jambo la kuanza. To give instructions and directions. To give instructions and directions. Usifa hiyo nguo inaweza kunasa we kupeleka iku kunganishi. Enlightening kufungua mawaso ya watu. Hivyo mefaa inaweza kukuingisa mteko. Hivyo naenda hivyo anakuona. Those who cannot be able to obey. Watatoka na uchungu. Lakini faida ni yao. Come to you. Wanini? Wengine wame learn. Wamejua kupitia kwa experience. Wengine wameona, wamelewa. Usifikirie hiyo kaika si tunafanya bure. 
atufanye tu kuamuka kuenda we do consultations we check many things to understand what is best for that kitu gani zuri inaweza fanyika hapo iwe sawa we do consultations we also learn from others aso They do counseling leaders and they do and advise what is the best to do for that. Counseling nene. To counsel someone. To counsel. Bwana sifiwe. Anaweza ku counsel kutokana na maarifa ile Mungu amempa ama kupitia kwa imani. Counseling can be in the faith, can be in physical, can be in the spirit. Anyway, Huyo mama akawa analia Nikamwambia mume wako ni kuchukuliwa tu na mwanamke ameenda. Na shida ni yako tu. Unaweza nisikiliza? Ndio nitakusikiliza pasta. Nisikilize vizuri. Shida ni yako. Maana wanaume wanapumbaswa na kitu kidogo sana. Kidogo tu. Kumuita kajina kazuri saa ile akona pressure. Anatuliza roho bwana asifiwe. Pigie soma kofi men. Why do you think someone married can go to another woman? Wanaume hawapendi kelele. Why? Because their mind is dynamic. Yeye akiondoka kwa nyumba anafikiria wewe mke wake utakula nini? Watoto na mke amekaa hapo. Ukikuja jioni kuja na sukari ni kama ataokota kwa barabara. Bwana asifiwe. Wala mjaolewa, wanaume hawapendi kelele. Wala mjaolewa. Mnasikia? Wanaume hawapendi kelele. Wao kimpigia kelele ukiona anakuja jioni usitafute sababu nyingine ni ile kelele ya jana anajaribu kufunguza mazaa ndio akiingia asiwe na kisirani alale haraka amuke tena kesho aende Ukitaka kuje mapema unamuongelesha vizuri hata unampigia simu tu kimbele mbele unajua kutokanga 5:30 unamuuliza kwani leo mtoki mapema na ni saa nane Bwana asifiwe Pigie Yesu makofi mengi They Naongea habari ya counseling. They counsel, napatia watu counseling. Ulisikia nikifanya mtu deliverance nikamuuliza shida yako ni nini? Hata sijui alienda wapi. Ini ile group ya kwanza ilikuwa inatafuta Mungu ibebe vitu zake. Akakaa nazo nyumbani. Akasema bana yangu ni kisirani, kwa nini? Akija kwa nyumba na anza matusi anaanza kuniambia niliyo takataka roho Mungu akaniambia wewe muulize anajibu yanga nini kama wewe unajibu nini na mimi namwambia anga takataka ina uanga takataka ingine they can never work together and advice usiende hiyo jia hautafika advice is the work of the leader authority if you don't obey your leader he can never change you number two if you don't obey your leader your leader can never change you can never change the nature of your life number one if you want to receive a change from anyone who is leading you it is by first obeying and respecting that person no matter how close you are hata kama mko karibu na yake as gani Usiangalie hiyo kuongea na urafiki mwingi. Ujue kuna kitu ako nayo wewe una. Anaweza kukutolea mtego ambao wewe huwezi kujitolea. Anaweza kuongea maneno kwa jia yako ambayo huwezi kujiongea. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Piga Yesu makofi na shangwe na mgile gile. ule usaidizi ambao utapata kutokana na uongozi ni kuwa mtiifu ni kuondoa hiyo akili ya kukosoa kila wakati kila mara pasi yako ukisimama wewe unaona kitu utakosoa you are going down ukiwa hivyo unaenda chini pole pole kama vile sabuni ununuliwa 
na inanunuliwa kwa ikisha kutolewa tu kila mara imefanywa kidogo inaendelea na kuisha siku moja inabaki kisu ka kisu ka sabuni kukosoa kiongozi wako kila mali kumuongea hata asiweko wacha asiwe wewe muongee tu lakini jehova anaona roho yake inaona roho yake inasikia hata akiwa mbali anasikia tu bwana yesu asifiwe praise the name of the lord When you begin to see the mistake from your high authority you are going down. That's number one how the devil captures the mind of people. Hivyo ndivyo shetani anashikanga mawaso ya watu. Anatafuta jia ile ambayo atamtenganisha na mwenye mafuta kwa jia fulani. Atakuwa akiona makosa kila kitu. Kila kitu. Mwisho wa yote yule mtu anaenda chini anakimbia kwa pasa mwingine. By the time aende kujengwa na huyo atakaa mwaka moja miaka tatu ile roho ikuje tena aanze kuona huyu by the time i realize ako karibu na kaburi inamnukia hapo hapo na that is why today bwana amenituma niongee na mtu aliye nyumbaini kuambie if you want to be a true minister and you want god to begin to trust you number one, you must begin to obey the authority no matter how it is bwana asifiwe let me give you a short and a brief history in the bible in the journey of the israelites from misli from egypt to canaan they were moving from one town to another town from a bad status of life to a good status of life the towns were different but on the journey on the way to canaan there are so many things that arise many things which came up until some of them begin to despise moses where is this kind of hii mambo ya kanisa kukatika ilitoka wapi? Hii mambo ya muhubiri amelelewa na mwingine, amekuwa mkubwa baadaye anakatika kwake anaenda kuanzilisha yake ilitoka wapi? Lack of obeying authority. Bwana asifiwe. Leaders are meant to correct and to help. The work of the authority is to do what? To correct and to help to do counseling and to advise kama sasa Kenya imefanya counseling imetumia body zote ku cancel wanadamu wote wana Kenya wote tumieni hii fanyeni hii not because they don't know si vile ati hawajui kwamba watu wanajua hiyo no hakuna mtu ajui maana ya ya, ya sabuni kunawa hakuna mtu ajui maana ya maji tunaoka kila siku tunaoka kila siku lakini kwa sababu iko pale na ni authority inapeana command hiyo kwa watu wote kwa sababu that is the work of the government it is to give advice to the citizen makosa haitakuwa kwa president of the country kama kuna mtu atafanya vile amesema maana huyo asiye obey that authority hata kubali inawezekana hata hiyo shida ikaenda kwa mtu huyu na iko yaelekezo kwake kwa nini kwa sababu hata Mungu anafurahia kuona watu wakiobei pasipo tii mamlaka bwana anaweza kuachilia kamtego bwana asifiwe praise the name of the lord jesus pige yesu makofi me aso i want to repeat again the work of the authority ama kasi ya walio na mamlaka ni kupatiana mwelekeo ndi kwa, kwa watu ni kufundisha na kusomesha watu na kuelimisha watu mambo yale ambayo inaweza kuwasaidia kama ni kanisani ni kuelimisha watu kujua jinsi ya kufanya mambo ya kiroho because in the church we are talking more about the spirit the things of the spiritual world it is to educate and enlighten people ni kupatia watu mashauri ama ushauri kurekebisha na kupeana usaidizi pale unahitajika kurekebisha kurekebisha ni nini 
usikuje umechelewa masaa ni haya mwenye authority ana nafasi hiyo yake lazima itumie lazima itumie bwana asifiwe now listen authority creates order i want to write that down authority creates order what is the meaning of order the accurate arrangements of things kazi ya mkubwa kwanza ni kuweka order mipangilio ya nini itaingia itafuata na nini kitu gani kitaenda bwana asifiwe they put order in arrangements of things respect those in authority over you your success is affected by it respect those who are on authority who they have authority over you because your success is affected by this bana sifu your success is totally affected by this disrespect of the people who are in charge of you if you don't respect them there are things which you are missing if you don't respect and honor them there are things which you are missing from them kuna kitu ambacho nakipotesa kwa mtu huyu usipoheshimu kuna kitu kinapotea kwa maisha ya mtu ambaye aheshimu mamlaka bana Yesu asifiwe Your success ushindi wako unadhulumiwa na kutoheshimu yale mamlaka Kiwango chochote Hata kama ni mahali umeandikwa kasi heshimu kubwa wako anaweza akarecommend jina lako mbele ukaenda hatua mbele ambazo haungefika Bwana asifiwe Anaweza akaulizwa There is no work without a benefit. I want you to understand that today. Nothing you shall ever do in the correct way and you fail to get a benefit of it. Hakuna kitu nzuri utafanya kwa maisha yako ukose kupata faida yake. Hata kama uioni saa hii, just give it time. You will see it come into your life. Bana sifiwe. Subiki Yesu makofi mimi. Hakuna kitu kizuri utakachokifanya kwa maisha yako ambacho hakitaleta faida. Hivyo sio vile Mungu hufanya kazi. There is no way you can do the work of God here. Na iwe wewe ni wakutumika tu. Na hakuna siku naye Mungu atatumika kwa ajili yako. Haiwezi kuwa rahisi. No way. No way. Ile kazi ambayo unapata kuifanya ukiona mtumishi wa Mungu amekuruhusu amekupatia position and do it with care and do it with respect and do it with a lot of calmness come into your together i say come into your togetherness into your wholeness kuna faida kila kitu utakachokifanya Bwana asifiwe. Naongea habari za faida na ushindi. If you don't obey the authority it affects your success. How does it affect your success? This person has the power to speak to your spirit and to your body and to your mind. I want you to listen to this it's very important. Huyo mtu ako na uwezo wa kuongea kwa akili zako, kwa mawaso yako, kwa roho yako na hata kwa mwili wako haipatie instruction. And without the honor and the respect of this person, he can bring a lot of destruction to your life. Bwana Yesu Honor those who have lived before you 
They possess a wealth of knowledge. Honor the people who have lived in they, own, they possess a wealth. Wana utajiri wa akili. Wameona mengi. Wale wameishi. Bele yako. Naongi authority. They possess the wealth of knowledge. Ako na utajiri wa akili. Anaweza kukwambia kitu kidogo. Lakini ukikichukua kwa muhimu. Kita kusaidia. Kita kuinua. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. They possess the wealth of knowledge. When you honor them, you get a chance of sharing what they have. The importance of Respecting and honoring the authority, number one, you share the same cup. Munaesa shiriki kikombe kimoja, yondi ozuri, number one. You can share the same cup. Inaesa kuwa the cup will be in different sizes. Fikombe siko topaudi, kuna tea, a cup, kuna porridge mug, ni cup, tu ni kikombe, kuna, it depends. But the fact remains the moment you honor and respect the authority you begin to share the same portion the same knowledge the same that this person is getting you get it akiongea amekutana muujiza wewe unasikia tayari ni wako tu hata bila kutaja unasikia that is mine because what my father possesses it belongs to me it's mine bwana asifiwe they possess a wealth of knowledge. Listen to them. Listen to them. Give them your attention. They will model you. They will streamline you. They will focus you. Your leader can focus you. Can streamline you. Can put you upright. Amen. Amen. They have lived and they bear. They possess a wealth of knowledge. What does it mean by knowledge? Knowledge is the kind of understanding that you get collectively in terms of learning from people or from the experiences some of the things that we preach are out of experience some of the things that we do are out of experience and it can help you it can take you to a greater to a higher and to a greater height Listen from them and listen to them. These are two different things. Listen from and listen to. Number two, learn from them. Soma kutoka kwao. My friend. Nobody can grow without a mentor. No, we're going to grow without someone, without distraction from another person. Umekua. Vile olivyo mana ulikuwa na baba yako na mama kakuelekeza. Usifanye hii. Wegine wangekua wabaya wa korofi. Wegine wangekua wezi. Watu wabaya wa sikiangi. Mana wako pata mtu wako wesa kwelekebisha. Mambo ya kiroo na yo ni hivo. Pana maweka wa chungaji. Ili wale watoto wao wakiro wakiwambia hii ni mbaya wakae wa wale ili mtu huyu siku moja aone the faida ile kazi amefanyiwa kwa maisha yake Bwana Yesu asifiwe Piga Yesu makofi mimi As 
also if you want to possess and to share the same cup that they are sharing listen to them number one wasikilize number two learn from them soma kutoka kwao kwa mwanafunzi kila wakati kwa kusikiliza na kufuata bwana asifiwe observe their way of life observation their way of life is of hebrews 13:7 nasema nini angalia jia yao ya kuishi angalia jia yao 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 explain about master key hii gari iko na kifunguo moja vile ipo na ndio inaweza kugurumisha ile gari katembea kando yake iko na kadunde ukiangalia kuna kadunde hapa aka kadunde ukifinya hivi tu hata nikiwa hapa utaingia kwa hiyo gari uniletee kitu nikiwa hapa ishafungua mela communicate ukitoa nitafunga kuna alamu imewekwa pale na iko immobilizer ile immobilizer ndio iko sensitivity ya kukomunikate na ki ikiwa mbali i want you to listen and look at this, what i'm talking about lakini kuna masaa hiyo immobilizer inaweza kukosa kufanya kazi ika fail ikakataa nikafinya vinya haifungu kuna master key hii moja mrefu nitaenda kwa ule mlango niingize na itaambia immobilizer although you have refused to open the doors there is another extra power you can never stop ay 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 subigie bana yesu makofi mengi ile masaki hii mrefu itafungua gari na milango yote itacommunicate itaenda kwa ignition itageuza engine itawakisha na gari itatembea hata kama ile alamu imekataa kuna masaki ya kuendeleza ile gari ende pigia Yesu makofi mengi in the name of the Lord Jesus that is what we call master key there are also master keys in life when as if you when i do spiritual fathers Toto aliyelaaniwa na baba yake 
akamwambia kama ni msichana hautawahi kuolewa na kweli inaingia kwa sababu wako na mafikiano wako na jia wako na blood covenant wako na blood relationship ambayo it can never be separated naturally but there is a man somewhere a person who can bears the power of God who can speak to the higher authority of the creator who created the father who cast the child and say the curse of the father must disappear ay 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 bana yesu makovi mengi aliye laani akasema huyo nimemaliza akaja akakuta aliye laaniwa hata ameolewa na mtu mkubwa aliye laaniwa na kazi amepata kazi ambayo ni ya kivahari kwa maana kuna another master person ambaye ana uwezo ulio zaidi ya hiyo katika jina la Yesu Kristo pigia bwana Yesu makovi na shangwe na vigelegele bwana Yesu asifiwe praise the name of the lord na hao watu wamepewa nguvu hizo na uweso huo. Hawezi kulaaniwa. Mungu akishampenda na amemuinua ni hivyo tu. Wakati watu wanamuongea maneno, yeye anainuliwa tu. Siji kama mama iko na vile hii huduma inakuanga kubwa. Wakati ambapo kumeinuka vita watu wanaongea huo oh, aitaendelea huyo mchungaji anakaa, anafanya nini? Sasa hiyo ndio unaona kimuujiza kikupa. Pa! Because mafuta ikija kuchemka, kitunguu lazima itaungua. Itaungua tu. Nitoka ndukani inalilisha mtu machozi mpaka anatoa machangamasi ndio yeye itaungua igeuke iwe black kitunguu mafuta mafuta inachoma sufuria mpaka inageuka pande ya nyuma inakuwa black inachoma sufuria mpaka unaona kama si yako spiritual leaders bwana asifiwe i want to build something in your spirit I want to jenga nataka kujenga kitu ndani yako ambacho kitaweza kusaidia. 